Four days ago, Freddie accessed a storage locker at the Camden Easy store. We don't know what she took, but we do know that the locker was hired by Lester Price. Use his own debit card. Well, uh, Freddie knew that Lester bought those tapes. She probably arranged to have it handed back, so uh, what does Lester say? No idea. He's disappeared. Nobody's seen him or his wife since yesterday afternoon. Their phones are off and their cars are at home. You shouldn't be telling me this. Hey, what are you doing? So, the neighbours across from Leicester have got cameras that just about capture the front of his gates, OK? These, these are from the night of Shannon McBride's murder. Uh, I can't look at those. You need to leave. OK, Leicester gets home around 6, and this unknown car arrives at 7pm. Then the car leaves again with Samantha and the mystery man still driving. No sign of Lester. And no one else comes or all goes until midnight when this car returns with Samantha and this man's still inside. Samantha lied to us. Mm -hmm. She said they were home all night. But there's a five-hour window when Lester was alone in the house between uh, seven and midnight. Mm -hmm. He could have snuck out the back, couldn't he? But there's no cameras. And Shannon McBride got murdered between eight and half past. OK. Great work. But what do you think? It's not currently my job to have an opinion on this. Oh, come on, man. This is all going to get cleared up, all right? You know, you're acting like you're never coming back. Cut it out. We've got a job to do here. And what is our job, Lola? Well, I asked because when Susan told me about my suspension, I just felt this wonderful wave of relief. I know you're upset. I'm not upset. I'm asking a simple question. What is our job? Is it to prevent crime, to punish criminals? Justice. For who? For the victims of crime. Well, there you go. I can't think of a worse group of people to build a system around. What are you talking about, man? The Come victims on. of crime are angry. They have every right to be. I can't expect them to stop and think about why someone behaved in a way that caused them so much pain. The system has no right to be angry. It has no right to feel or ignore the complexities of criminal behavior, but that's what we do every day. We come to work and we willfully remove nuance and ignore evidence. I'm not talking about fingerprints or DNA. I'm talking about mitigating facts and circumstances that we ignore every day in pursuit of a child's vision of justice. Yeah, and I'm trying to catch a serial killer, so... Today you are. But what do we do for the rest of the year? 